Hi, I'm Lisa Joy Zagorski with the National Science Foundation. Today, we're going to have a conversation about an unusual marriage, that is, the marriage between medicine and mathematics, and specifically, an exciting new paper that shows a possible link between curing leukemia with mathematics. Today, I'm proud to have Dr. Doran Levy. Dr. Levy is an associate professor of mathematics at the University of Maryland College Park. Dr. Levy, thank you for being with us today. Well, thank you very much, Lisa. Tell me about the paper and what it found. What is exactly the link? In this work, we studied a particular version of leukemia. It's called chronic myelogenous leukemia. Leukemia is actually a collection of uh, different types of diseases, all are diseases of white blood cells. Uh, there's something special about chronic myelogenous leukemia. Let's call it CML. Uh, the something spe what is special about CML is that uh, it is related to a specific genetic defect. And uh, in the year 2000, patients have been starting to get a special drug that was developed in order to treat that specific defect. It's called Gleevec, or another name is imatinib. And uh, what happened to these patients, and most patients have uh, seen a remission in the disease, okay? Mm -hmm. And that was wonderful. In fact, it was so substantial that uh, patients were ordered to take this, this, this uh, uh, drug before the end of the clinical trial. Mm. So that, that was quite substantial. Uh, unfortunately, it turned out that stopping this drug means that the disease relapses. Mm. The drug, while being very successful in sending most patients into remission, did not cure the disease. Mm. And over time, what you would expect in a lot of patients, perhaps not all of them, but in, definitely in many patients, is for the disease to relapse because the body develops drug resistance. Mm. So my collaborator, Peter Lee, has uh, approached me trying to figure out new methods in which we can try to treat this disease. Now, what the drug attempts to do is it attempts to shut down these mechanisms that uh, signal the cells to have a non-controlled growth. Mm -hmm. That's what the drug does. One of, our, uh, one of the main components of our research was to say that in successful cases, it may not be only the drug that drives patients into remission, but the own that is, the self-immune system also may have a role in pushing patients into remission. Hmm. We recently got a renewed funding uh, in order to uh, make an extensive, conduct an extensive study uh, and collect more data from patients. Uh, if I were a medical doctor, and I'm not, I'm a mathematician, my intuition would be, well, we have such a novel procedure, let's put the patient on a drug, and let's boost the immune response using the procedures I described. This did not work. And our calculations show that indeed it will not work. Huh. You have to wait. And you have to wait and you have to keep track over the anti-leukemia specific immune response of the patient. And for each patient, you have to use the individual immune response to figure out when to inject the vaccine. Hmm. And that's something that you can't do by playing any guess games or guesswork or whatever. You have to calculate things. It seems like a brand new paradigm that those people like yourself cranking out numbers and formulas are actually helping those in operating rooms and medical facilities all over the country. You're hopeful, sounds like. Uh, well, pretty much so. We have seen in the past that mathematics can be very useful in other fields as well. You know, uh, we try to build better airplanes, uh, design better cars, uh, you know, uh, get rid of uh, uh, nuclear trials, all sorts of big things using calculations. Uh, so if we can do it for these kind of applications, well, there's absolutely no reason why we can't do it in math, uh, in, in biology and in medicine. And is that your message to kids today? Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, do your biology, do your math. There is so much exciting stuff out there. Uh, it's out for grabs. Dr. Levy, Doran, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you very much.